Here's a new recipe I came up with this morning. Do a little experimentation in the kitchen. It's going to be purple barley breakfast cereal. First of all, you need purple barley. It's not like regular barley. If you can't find, it's a specialty item. If you can't find purple barley, you can use whole barley, regular barley. I, I recommend purple barley first if you can get it. If not, whole barley is fine. Um, you want the more of the whole you have on it, the more nutritious it is. I found the purple barley. I found it online. It was a website called 1000springmill.com. They had it. You can also you can find it on Amazon, and you may be able to find it locally. But it's more of a specialty item. Basically, it's a form of barley that was kind of lost for many years. And they rediscovered it in Tibet, of all places. And they took seeds out, and now people are growing it all over the world. And it's fantastic. It, here's a little bit what it looks like. It's not totally easy to see it, but I kind of move it up. You can get a little idea of what it looks like. Different color. I start out, I take one heaping cup of the purple barley, and I put it in my pressure cooker. Well, we're going to do this in my pressure cooker. Very easy way to do it. You can pressure cooker, instant, instant pot, any of those things. They all work. Then I want to buff up the protein powder. Sorry, the protein content in this stuff. All the purple bar purple barley is already pretty high in protein. We're going to add hemp seeds. I'm going to put five tablespoons. One, two, three, four, five seed. Then I've got chia seeds. We have five tablespoons of chia seeds. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm adding flax seeds. I want to add five tablespoons of flax seed. One, two, three, four, Five. Doing all of this, adding these seeds, massively ramps up the iron content of the cereal, the protein content, and the fiber content. Anybody who knows me, I focus on three things. How much iron is in it, how much protein is in it, how much fiber is in it. And now I have all of this inside the pressure cooker. I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit. And now I need to add four parts water to one part cereal. So if I put one cup of cereal, I'm going to put four cups of water. One, two, three, four. I actually added four and a half cups. I, I've learned that sometimes it's better to add a little bit more water than less. Because what happens is if you don't add enough, the, product, the final product will come out pretty thick. And if you want it to be more like cereal, you want it to be you know, a little bit looser. So I put all this in the pressure cooker and I set it for 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes. It will it'll probably take it 10-15 minutes to get up to pressure. It'll cook for the 12 minutes and it'll take it 10-15 minutes to cool off. So the whole process takes like maybe 45 minutes or so, but I can just walk away from it. I'll restart the video once the product is finished and you can see what it looks like. Now it is finished cooking. It's, um, open up the pressure cooker. And on the side we have nice finished product and steam still coming off of it. Pour it off of here. I'm pouring it into another container because I'm going to be giving it to one of my neighbors down the street who very much wants to try this. And it's all said and done. It smells delicious and it, it, because it is delicious and it's extremely healthy and it's also extremely hot.